Precision agriculture robots can efficiently handle variability and uncertainties in agriculture practices to optimize production and costs. Today, these robots are used for picking produce, monitoring plant health through aerial multispectral imaging, targeted weed management, and spraying pesticides. To identify precise points of interest in the field for targeted applications, these robots require a high-resolution navigation solution. Several approaches have been proposed to rocket agriculture robots. Large-scale agriculture robots use bulky and power-hungry RTK GPS systems for submitted navigation. This approach suffers from low GNSS update frequency and cannot provide coverage in GPS denied environments. Wheel encoders have a low power and volume footprint, but suffers from wheel slippage, dust, and dirt common in farms. Camera slam systems navigate the robot without map information. However, cameras suffer from occlusions, shadows, lighting conditions, and bumpy terrains. Quadrotors can hover above agricultural robots and provide location service. However, this approach is dependent on the field of view of the quadrotor camera, the battery life, and flight height restrictions. Ultra wideband radio becomes do not scale well across different agricultural fields due to infrastructure setup issues. Finally, traditional inertial navigation systems or INS have a small footprint, low delay, and low power. However, traditional INS is over reliant on GPS to mitigate the curse of drift in inertial measurement units, and the heuristic propagation models are not robust to inertial perturbations or domain shifts. Keeping the challenges in mind, in this work, we propose the use of physics aware neural inertial navigation as a propagation model in GNSS INS Kalman fusion for agricultural robot navigation. Instead of using heuristic models, a neural network predicts the velocity and location of the robot during Kalman propagation from land of IMU readings. Subsequently, the robot can navigate longer with our GPS updates over heuristic-based techniques. To pre-train these models, we developed a dataset containing six hours of high-fidelity IMU, GPS, and ground truth position data from a real agricultural robot. To fine-tune the pre-trained models during deployment time, using only a few minutes of labeled data, we release an automated video processing pipeline to extract ground truth position data from quadrator videos. Let's take a look at the dataset that we have developed. <coughs> Neural inertial navigation models are known to need a lot of data to achieve usable automatic resolution. As a result, to pretend neural inertial navigation networks for agricultural robots, we collected IMU, GPS, and high resolution position data from a real weed management agricultural robot in three phases. This dataset, known as the AgroBot dataset, contains data for the robot navigating indoors on a rooftop flagship farm and a real strawberry farm. Now, the last two phases emulate typical scenarios where the robot is expected to be deployed in. The dataset contains 6.5 hours and 4.5 kilometers of navigation data. For the first two phases, we used infrared motion capture system, which is shown in yellow, to track the robot, which is shown in red. We use infrared markers to denote the reference body, which is shown in blue. In the last phase, we use a quadrotor to collect ground truth location data and checkerboard patterns as reference markers. This dataset is the largest public neural inertial navigation dataset for precision agricultural robots. Now, to make pre-trained models deployable, transform learning allows domain adaptation with as little as one minute of labeled data. However, collecting labeled navigation data in the field is challenging for non-domain experts. As a result, we provide an inexpensive and automated video processing pipeline for farmers to collect labeled ground root position data using quad rotors for fine-tuning pre-trained automatic models for their own applications. Farmers place several reference landmarks within the predefined area, measuring the horizontal and vertical distance between them. The robot is then driven through the area, the video of which is captured by a hovering quadrotor. The raw frames are pre-processed to remove everything except the robot and the landmarks, which are then tracked using Canada lucas Tomasi algorithm to generate bounding boxes. Centroids are extracted from these bounding boxes and corrected for wind drift using reference landmarks. Any missing data is first interpolated, and then all the data is smoothed, scaled, to finally yield X and Y quadrants of the robot within a resolution of 5 cm. To improve automatic resolution and reduce reliance on GPS for INS, we propose using a neural network to estimate the velocity and location instead of human design system model. The neural network first estimates the velocity from a window of 9 of IMU readings, which is converted to position using a constant velocity model. We add a physics metadata channel based on the first Fourier transform accelerometer readings to act as transportation mode detector. This prevents the neural network from regressing invalid displacements. The magnetometer acts as additional reference anchor besides gravity, and the velocity-centric formulation counteracts heading the singularity. Now, to include this neural network in an extended Kalman filter formulation, we separate the neural and non-neural components in the Kalman propagation. This results in the neural network providing a non-linear black box mapping between IMU readings and states. To linearize the system model, we use the Jacobian of the neural network with respect to the past states and current inputs to estimate the process covariance. The GNSS then provides measurement updates during Kalman update steps. We compared the performance of our proposed neural Kalman filter against conventional neural INS as well as classical INS. Across all the baselines, our filter achieves 1.5 to 2x lower flash uses due to the uses of a lightweight temporal convolutional neural network backbone. 
However, at the same time, our filter achieves 1.4 to 5.8x higher autometric resolution as well. As seen in the sample trajectory plot on the right, the GPS alone is very noisy, whereas conventional NS drips due to IMU angular random walk and bias instability. However, our filter learns to combine the smoothness and short-term accuracy of neural networks with long-term precision of noisy GPS or GNSS objects. Furthermore, the filter can even constrain the positional error down to 2.75 meters with 20 minutes of GPS outage. We also showcase the utility of transfer learning in reducing data hungry nature of neural inertial navigation. Without transfer learning, neural inertial navigation models trained on one dataset are not directly transferable to another dataset. This results in 1.6 to 13.66 lower automatic resolution compared to fine tuning. However, fine tuning pretend automatic models in the targeted domain requires 20x less data than training a model from scratch. In fact, fine tuning with one minute of level data outperforms training from scratch with 20 minutes of data by 1.3x. Thank you.